Um, what you're seeing here is our test rig. Uh, this is a high resolution printout. It's done at 20 by 30 at 600 DPI. We have a camera lined up for the center of this, so everything's perfectly leveled, the targets aligned. And we're checking several things, the sharpness of the corners of the lens. We're also checking to make sure that it's optically centered. On these small sensor cameras like this Sony, the Canon uh, G7X Mark I, II, and III, it's very important to have a good copy of the lens. And so while I have a return period on this, I'm actually making sure that I've got a good copy. So I've shot at all the base uh, apertures as I go up through the normal f-stops. And then I've also been adjusting the ISO to uh, have a beneficial ISO to maintain sharpness. And so this is our test rig. In a little while, we're going to be moving uh, the camera back because as I get into longer zoom, we will not be able to focus at uh, this distance. And so uh, I'm going to actually try two tests as I uh, test the lens. I'm going to try the minimum published distance and then a calculated uh, test distance that's ideal for uh, this, this lens. So we're going to try both and see how we do here. Uh, we have nice uh, softbox light, so we have adequate light, and uh, we're going through the various stops of light um, with this particular lens. We're shooting at 24, 35, 50, 70, 110, and then all the way to 200. And I will need to move back um, because we'll be probably uh, too close at the longer zoom ranges but it's a great way to test the quality of this uh, lens. So I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, with the camera. The next test I'm doing is at 50. All right, so we're at 50 here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and our first uh, test shot will be at F4 because F2.8 is no longer available. Uh, F3.5 is no longer available. The camera is automatically giving us a minimum aperture of F4. So with this camera, it goes ahead and uh, stops down pretty quickly as you go on in the zoom range. So right now, um, I'm at base size, so F4, and I have the camera on the timer, so we're going to go ahead and take the shot. And then I'm going to actually take a look at the uh, test shot to make sure that uh, uh, it's sharp, that we're able to get focus at this uh, distance. And so there's our test. We're going to hit uh, review. On Sony, you tap it twice to magnify it in. And uh, it looks tack sharp, so I'm going to go back to general review. And then I'm going to do the uh, next aperture up in our test. So our next stop we're, we're visiting is F5.6. And we were doing this uh, through a number of uh, test shots here. Hi, well we've completed uh, our lens uh, test. Um, we went through uh, the various focal length of uh, the Sony camera and uh, tried it at uh, the standard apertures for each uh, lens that uh, we have. 
the results look real encouraging on the back of the camera. Also, when we were uh, on a higher ISO situation, uh, there was a point that I went back and shot the uh, camera at a lower ISO to be able to compare those in post when I get into Lightroom. But uh, right now it looks like uh, the lens does suffer some diffraction as you get up at f11, which is not unexpected for a small lens. Also, uh, the quality, uh, particularly at the larger apertures all the way through the focal level range, looks extremely sharp. But that's just looking at the files on the back of the camera. I want to thank my friend Howard for having me over here to this studio setup. Uh, we were able to set up really good light on this test target. I'm going to go grab the camera here, bring you in, and show you what we're shooting on. And uh, again, uh, my thanks to uh, Lens Rental that uh, had this test target available on their site. Uh, we're using uh, some uh, Photovec uh, softboxes, which are ideal for this uh, constant light. Uh, this happens to be very video friendly light, uh, anti flicker setup. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if this helped you. Please subscribe. And if you want to get notified of my next video, hit that bell.